What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sticky header on Elementor. Now let me just minimize my screen here and move that to the side there and uh, head over to your dashboard. No, I haven't set up my header yet. Need, you're gonna need a uh, one plugin or you might need two depending if you have Elementor Pro or not um, but if you don't have Elementor Pro you're gonna need to um, you're gonna need to activate elements kit light and that's just so then you can uh, create a header on your um, Elementor website and um, and then you're gonna need sticky header effects for Elementor so you can create the sticky header now um, so once you have those two installed there, you're gonna head over to your um, header and you're gonna wanna edit that. So um, head over to your headers, whether, whether that's Elements Kits. If that's all in Elements Kits, just click on Elements Kit, uh, My Templates, and then create a new header if you haven't already. I'm gonna name this header. And if you're on Elementor Pro, just head over to your um, Elements Templates and it should be under Header. So. And then I'm just gonna activate that. I'm gonna want that on the entire site and I'm gonna click Save Changes. Let me know if you guys do want any Elementor Pro um, tutorials. I actually do have Elementor Pro as well, but I know that a lot of you have the free version, so I kinda tend to just do the free version. Um, so anyway, click on Edit, and then let's go ahead and edit the header. And now if you don't have your header, well, just make sure you add one. I do have but I do have quite a bit of tutorials on creating a header. I think I have like four tutorials. Um, so just look through my videos and uh, you should be able to find out how to create a uh, header on Elementor. So I'm just gonna grab one of the templates um, that Elements Kits provides. So I'm gonna use this one as an example. So I'm gonna add that in and then I'm just gonna choose a, a, uh, a menu here and I'm gonna shrink this a little bit. There we go, and then I'm gonna save this and just show you how that looks. Let's go to home on the home page, and that's my header. There, now we just wanna make that into a sticky header, right? Um, so make sure you click on the section that you want the sticky header, and then head over to advance, and then click on sticky header effects, and you're gonna want to enable it, and just choose if you want it. If you want it set on desktop, tablet, or mobile, it's that's just up to you. I have it on basically on all platforms. Um, and the scroll distance that you may want it. Um, and if you do, if you want it transparent or not, if you want to have a background. Uh, but let me just go ahead and uh, show you how that looks now. And as you can tell, now we do have that sticky header. Now, of course, I do have my uh, WordPress bar in the way, but if I were to log out, um, that wouldn't be an issue anymore. So let's say we wanna make this transparent, which I have done in other tutorials as well. Um, so let me just actually show you how that would look like. Or let's say I wanted to actually make this a different color, right? When it, uh, when it scrolled, that actually might be a better example there. Um, we can have that black when it scrolls. And of course, you would have to adjust um, your your menu as well and your button colors, but you see that would end up turning end up turning um, different color there. Let me actually remove, you know what, um, just to make this easier, let me go into my settings here. I probably just should have clicked on my profile. Um, and I'm just gonna remove the show toolbar here. I'm gonna disable that and I'm gonna go in here. All right, so as you can tell, um, that's black now, and now we don't have the WordPress bar in the way. Um, but I'm gonna disable that, and you can also make this transparent as well. Basically, that's just gonna make it transparent right away. You'll see once we uh, head over here. Um, the reason why it's showing that, it's still showing that it's not transparent is because you gotta remove the background from it. So make sure you clear the background. And let's head over to the home page. And you'll see that it's transparent now. And it will end up turning a little, it will have a little transparent white there as well, but you can change it 
what you can do is let me just go to advance here sticky click on background and just make this white just in case you did want to make that um, white whenever it, it uh, scrolls down so as you can tell now it's white so you can actually see it but of course you would have to adjust the menu right you would have to adjust the menu here make this make this uh, make the text white so and then also make the logo white and then the button um, but you guys can go ahead and figure that out how you guys want to do that um, but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions on this if you guys need any help on this I'll definitely make sure to help you out um, so I just need to add that menu there so yeah I hope this uh, I hope this video helped you out guys out and if it did make sure to subscribe and like this video it will honestly be very helpful and thanks for watching I will catch you guys in the next video